uh, or let, let me put it this way, most of us are not fully conversant with the fact that green trees um, have the capacity to take carbon and with the sun during the process of photosynthesis it traps carbon uh, and so when the carbon is in the atmosphere these trees are constantly taking that carbon and trapping it uh, because that's what it creates it builds itself with it gets bigger as it traps more carbon and that is why uh, trees are very, very important for us uh, because carbon is one of the major greenhouse gas that is causing global warming. So the, the forests, because there we have millions of trees, it becomes extremely important to us because not only do we have a lot of carbon trapped in these millions of trees in the forest like the Amazon, like the Congo, like the forest in Southeast Asia, they have, they, are, they have trapped millions of tons of carbon. And as long as they remain standing, that carbon remains trapped. But the minute we cut them and burden them, then of course that carbon is released and it goes into the atmosphere and is part of the problem that is causing global warming. That's why we've, we are, the forests and the trees are so important for us at this time. And so we need to protect the trees that are standing. We need to protect our forests, but we also need to plant a lot of trees. So when we talk about trees, usually we think about one tree. But when trees come together in a natural, biological, ecological system, and create a forest, we get many services from such forests. And one of the most um, dominant services, of course, is water. Our rivers would not flow, but for the fact that we have forests that trap rain, rainwater and allow that rainwater to be controlled so that it flows slowly. Some of it goes into the underground and eventually it comes back to us in form of streams and, and st uh, rivers and springs and eventually creates the big rivers like the Amazon, like the Congo. And um, we also get um, fruits, many people, especially indigenous people who live in the forest, they are gatherers and hunters. So the wildlife in the forest, the fruits, the roots, honey, Medicine, these are all non-forest products that are extremely important in our lives. Well, what has been discussed in this um, forum at POSNA and of course uh, in previous uh, conferences is how we can assist governments that hold forests to encourage these governments not to cut these forests down, to make these forests more valuable standing than cut down. And the only way we can do that is if we can financially compensate these governments so that they do not cut their trees. But with the money they are given, they will be able to provide services to their people for education, for roads and other infrastructure, for health and other services that governments give to their people. If they are not supported, what will happen is that they will allow logging. And when those trees are logged, then we, the trees can no longer serve us, uh, both as a reservoir for carbon and um, also for giving us the other services that we mentioned. This is why this conference is extremely important. In Kyoto, when we were signing the Kyoto, forests were left out. This time, they have been brought on board, and I hope that they will form part of the solution for climate change. 
Well, I haven't seen the, the document uh, that did that. Uh, and I'm quite sure that it has something to do with the historical uh, injustices that people may be afraid of uh, confronting, questions that may be uh, asked. Uh, but I think that what is important is that we recognize that there are some people who live in these forests to whom these forests are home. And so they have a right to use these forests and governments have a responsibility to ensure that these forests remain intact. And I want to say that clear-cutting the indigenous forests where these indigenous people live and replacing them with agricultural land or commercial plantations of exotic species is uh, it's not acceptable because commercial plantations are not forests. And the services that you get from indigenous forests or from natural forests is not the same as what you get from commercial plantations. And so this issue of uh, indigenous people and their relationship with the forest will not go away. I'm sure it will continue to be discussed even in Copenhagen. Thank you.